Well, the first time I went to see Dr. Bob Anderson, um, I went in for a bite. My mother-in-law at the time, she bit me. So she used her false teeth too, which is a felony in Louisiana. Now, if she used a real teeth, that would have been just a misdemeanor, but she used the false teeth felony because they're a deadly weapon. Dr. Bob took care of me a couple months back. Uh, see, what had happened was, um, Somehow, uh, a piece of fruit uh, went up my butt. I don't know what happened. I was drunk. Uh, but it was uh, described in the medical report as a spherical object with sun kissed stamped on the side of it. <laughs> I got that in a frame right in the bedroom. That's, <laughs> That's a good drunk story, right? <laughs> You ever been so drunk and somebody put an orange up your ass? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I had applied to be a receptionist in Dr. Bob's office. But then he explained to me that he works in the emergency room. So he doesn't even have an office. So I was like, do I get the job or what? Well, the next time I went to see Dr. Bob Anderson, I was bit again. <laughs> um, it was from a two-year-old this time. Used the real teeth, but no charges were filed. And, um, well, this kid was driving me freaking crazy. I babysat for my neighbors, the little black boy. And um, he was playing with the dog. And I said, get away from the dog. He's going to bite you. And the kid came over and bit me. Crazy little bastard. So, uh, I went to see Dr. Anderson, and, and this time I was worried because I had this crying baby in one hand and the puppy dog in the other hand, because I had to bring them both. You can't leave a dog outside. That's dangerous. So, I go to see Anderson, and he starts petting the dog, and then he talks sweet to the child, and then I got on all fours, and I started doing baby talk, because I thought, this man has got to get his hands on me. It worked. <laughs> mm. Well, what had happened was, um, I was like polishing all of my trophies, uh. so I'd laid them out all over my bedroom, and then I got drunk, and I fell asleep, and I'm, I must have rolled over on one of those trophies, because I ended up in the ER with a trophy up my butt, and... I just, I, I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel good. Dr. Bob, very sensitive, he was very gentle, and uh, he believed that story about the me rolling over on the trophy, so that's a good man. I'll be there. Hang on. Dr. Bob helped me with my stomach upset. I had some bloody stool, my fainting spells, my loss of vision. But paralysis temporary. I had a dislocated shoulder. I broke my hamstring, my broken toe. I had a wart of a D. He was real helpful with that. Oh, and hep C. Well, what had happened was, I was doing some housework, all right? Trying to help out the little lady. And I just sat down on it. And, uh, it went up my butt. And, uh, the lawsuit is still pending. But the medical report says, square object with Maytag printed on the side. I had these sores over here that started to go in down my throat. He gave me some salve. I had a rash just right. You could see the back of my leg. I, I wear pants a lot because it crawls down my back of the knee. He gave me some rubbing talcum for that. You ever had a dishwasher up your ass?
sometimes I hurt myself on purpose just so I could get touched by Dr. Bob. <laughs> get down, dog. What the fuck? 